Hi Aquarius, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you a mid-month uh, general tarot reading for mid-September 2021, I do want to take this moment to thank you so much for joining me, but I want to remind you as well, uh, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages, um, you know, four or five, from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. And as I do the initial shuffling and catch my breath, do remember that this is a general mid-month intuitive read for the sign of my lovely Aquarians. So take what resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else, and check out your other placements within your chart for more messages, okay? Alrighty, one last messy shuffle. So for my lovely Aquarians for mid-September 2021, what do they need to know? Ooh. There might be a change or something that happens within the second half of the month that just startles you or just feels very abrupt. Okay. So we're beginning with antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. And I believe this was the first card out in Virgo's reading, if I remember correctly. But let's pull. We're going to further clarify each of these four cards with two different tarot decks. So from the Gilded Tarot Royale to begin... For this antelope spirit for Aquarius, the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Um, so it might feel like things are just kind of falling into place smoothly but surely, or they're about to. And for whatever reason, you have that intuitive feeling if it hasn't been uh, happening for you just yet. Um, but a reminder coming through from the universe to release your grip to a certain extent, or just to not try to control how things unravel. Right, given things are going to be moving pretty damn quickly in the second half of the month. So don't try to control how they unravel, how things move forward. Things will just be happening. Just try to keep up with the pace and just do what you have to fulfill certain obligations or make certain changes. And it just feels like you may be presenting something, <clears throat> excuse me, as I lose my voice, where people are just noticing you for what you're doing, the hard work you're putting forth, or the changes you're trying to implement at this time. Feeling like you just have a lot going on and people are noticing that. Um, whether they're jealous or just kind of admiring you for uh, keeping up with a lot on your plate, okay? Let's further clarify from the Mermaid Tarot deck. The Antelope Spirit to further clarify for Aquarius. Two of Swords at the... Um, in reverse, excuse me, I almost said at the bottom of the deck, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. And so a reminder comes through from the universe that the battle is sort of coming to an end, right? If feeling like it's been a never-ending battle for a lot of you to accomplish what you need to, or just to really reach a level of success, or um, just to, you know, again, achieve in one way, shape, or form. Um, and feeling like that battle is coming to an end as you reach a level of completion, a level of uh, fulfillment to a certain extent. Feeling like your finances are a true focus, given we have three out of the four clarifiers are pentacles, right? Feeling as if you've been trying to reach a certain goal for a while, and you make a significant amount of progress towards it uh, in, I want to say, the third week of the month, and it just feels so damn good, and it's a reminder that things are falling into place. Again, the fact that we have a three and then a four, it's just kind of having, happening step by step. You might find that you're struggling to speak to a certain extent in the second half of the month, but don't let it get you down or hinder you. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. Some of you might be thinking about traveling as there's a plane or a helicopter going by in the background. But it's just with this imagery, you sort of trying to weave your own web, you know, create your own dreams, reality, your own life. Okay, trying to do things your way. What do we have for spider spirit for Aquarius? Interesting. We have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, again, it's as if you're being pushed by the universe to make your dreams reality, to make them real, 
you know, not to just imagine them and think about them, but to move towards them in a productive and mature manner, in a realistic manner. As you sort of see things moving quickly, messages coming in to confirm that they're doable, right? That certain things are going to work out for you that you've been longing for or working towards. Um, feeling like you're aiming for new levels of success, new changes that you once would have kind of put aside and been like, I can settle for this or that, you know, even if it's not perfect for me or ideal. Um, feeling as if a lot of you, it's connecting to your family or just your true level of happiness and fulfillment once again. Um, the universe getting ready to assist you in fill, uh, filling in those last few cups, you know, fulfillment, abundance, all of which. And again, a reminder that you can achieve what you want to at this time. And as I'm drawn to the bees here, if you see a lot of bees in the second half of the month, it's a reminder that sweet results await um, with, within the category of your dreams, um, your life in general, what you want to achieve, okay? For Spider Spirit to further clarify. A Knight of Pentacles, and so it feeling like things do, you can't help but think back to how things are moving slowly when it comes to your dreams, your goals, the completion of which, but then it just feeling like you thinking back to it is not going to going to be productive or it just might be because things are moving so quickly, right? A reminder from the universe that this is sort of the, you're transitioning out of the slow pace way of being into a more fast paced, more successful um, state and chapter of your life. Okay. We also see a lot of butterflies. A reminder that your loved ones are with you, the past over loved ones. Okay. Fox spirit, think on your feet. And I was about to say with the Knight of Pentacles, this imagery, you might feel like you're just pondering over a lot, thinking a lot, uh, potentially overthinking to a certain extent. And then I go to read the Think on Your Feet card. So to clarify for this Fox Spirit for Aquarius. Six of Cups. I'm going to pull one more for this. Butterflies again. The Nine of Pentacles, it came out in reverse, but I feel like that's more so in regards to the cage in the background, feeling like something that's been locking you in or sort of restricting you in one way, shape, or form, even if it was oneself, is no longer an option. It's no longer going to hinder you or hold you back as you reach for your independence, feeling as if it's time for you to utilize your mindset to manifest. You know, at times you overthinking things, being too analytical, right? Weighing out the pros and cons too much the point where the possibilities aren't as endless or um, doable because of all of which. So utilizing your beautiful mindset to manifest all of you desire at this time, feeling like there's a few options that are limited in time, right? Needing to think on your feet as well as, you know, for the perfect response to certain people, you know, not wanting to take forever to respond, but not needing, not wanting to respond so quickly that you say something you regret or that's incorrect. Okay. A true push from the universe to utilize certain memories that you are focusing on at this time or, you know, past failures, successes to teach you something, you know, to remind you of how to trickle forward instead of um, getting stuck in the past and stressing over how things didn't pan out. Okay. For whatever reason, in the second half of the month as well, you might be just pushed to focus on your childhood. A blank might be filled in for whatever reason, even if it's not helpful. What else do we have for Fox Spirit? Two of Cups, and you might need to think on your feet when it comes to a connection. You might have an option that comes in for dating or for a new friend, and you might need to just think on top of your feet. Now with the Seven of Pentacles and the Tower, it just feels like you're working really hard in the second half of the month, and a connection may come to an end. Or you may be thinking back with the Six of Cups to a connection that came to an end in the past to make way to clear um, space out for a new connection, which is coming in soon, if not, you know, um, in the upcoming month. That was such a struggle to say, but I feel like there's just a lot going on and you may not feel it's easiest to kind of sort through how you feel at this time. If need be, step back and figure out how you truly feel what you want. Um, but again, there's certain decisions that will need and require you to think on your feet, okay? 
Dove Spirit, be at peace. To clarify this Dove Spirit for Aquarius. Death. What else do we have? And then Nine of Swords, I feel like it's going to be a very emotional ending to the month for whatever reason. And you have to do with this tower moment or you just thinking about things that have a, uh, didn't work out in the past or came to an end, right? Feeling like at times you know, certain energies surrounding you in your life are a bit chaotic or too confrontational for whatever reason. Feeling like you need to be the peace in that situation or just desiring a new level of peace in your life in general. Um, peace of mind as well, okay? And so let's wrap up this reading by further clarifying this Dove card with the Mermaid Tarot. <laughs> Bear with me for this Dove card. King of Cups. And so, yeah, a true focus, uh, I want to say throughout the second half of the month in general as well, just on your, in the last part of the month on your emotional state, you know, you feeling really strong, but kind of coming off a bit cold without meaning to, you know, with the five of wands, it may feel like, again, there's a very uh, feisty situation in your life or just it adds uh, more issues rather than peace. And they need to reevaluate how to move forward in a productive manner, how to um, best adjust things, even if it doesn't mean being the queen of swords and adjusting that person or situation uh, out of your life altogether. To just figure out a productive way to move forward in a very peaceful manner as you try to accomplish a lot, make your dreams reality, and just um, try to be mature as you make changes and decisions. All right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing rest of the month, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Aquarius.